So before we start today's vlog, I wanna fulfill one of the promises that I set in a previous vlog, which was to give away one of these nice Vibrastrate irons to one lucky subscriber. So I asked you guys to post in the comments why you would like to win this Vibrastrate iron. You guys did a great job. You posted lots and lots and lots of comments. So I really appreciate that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll through this, select somebody at random, and you can win the Vibrastrate iron. So here we go. And the winner is, ironically, Lucky Gal. So Lucky Gal on YouTube, she says, hey Matt, I'd love to win the iron. I actually just starting out in this career and I could use something really cool like this to create ideal styles for my wonderful clients. Thanks for this opportunity. So Lucky Gal, make sure you email contest at freesaloneducation.com. Make sure the subject says, I want a Vibrastrate iron and post in there your name, address, and phone number so that we can get this Vibrastrate iron sent out to you. Now, for those of you out there that would still love to win a Vibrastrate iron, then post in the comments below again, why you'd like to win an iron or just something that you liked about this current video uh, that you're about to watch. And I'll pick somebody at random again to win another Vibrastrate iron. So make sure you post, make sure you subscribe and let's get started with the video. Here we go. What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. So if you remember last week, we had a model Danielle, we colored her hair and you got to see the end result of that. Well today I wanna show you guys the haircut that we did on her. It's a long layered haircut and we create a ton of volume. I think this video hits every check mark you guys are always looking for. Live model, long layers, lots of volume. So I don't wanna delay this video anymore. I got a ton of information to share with you guys. I hope you like it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel below if you haven't done that already. And if you have subscribed, make sure you share it with a friend so that we can keep growing free salon education. Thank you guys so much. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to start off this video by prepping um, Danielle's hair with a couple different products. The first one is Paul Mitchell Neuro Prime. It's a heat controller, uh, heat protectant. So I put that in the hair, and then I put in the Neuro Style Lift, which is a really uh, nice foam. So I put that throughout the hair as well. A lot of that goes into the root area. And... The reason I put the product in before I cut the hair is because as I'm combing, it'll fully saturate the hair. And then when I go to blow dry it, all the hair has the product. This is the Mizutani Type K scissor. It's my favorite scissor. We have it for sale on freesaloneducation.com. I use a five and a half inch scissor. I like using a little bit of a shorter scissor for precision cutting. Um, the reason I like a shorter scissor, and most people do, uh, for precision cutting is the fact that the blade is really strong, so you get really clean lines when you're cutting. You're also not working with a ton of hair when you're doing precision cutting, so you don't need a real long blade um, that's going to cut a ton of hair uh, as well. So the sectioning for this cut is pretty simple. Uh, we're basically going to create a Pac-Man shape on the top of her head. So I take a triangle out for the fringe, and then I make a circle around that triangle. So you'll see, you can see right here on the top view, that triangle and then a circle around it. The circle is really gonna be the roof of the haircut. So that's what's gonna overtake the rest of the hair. So what I wanna do is go through underneath the hair, create a ton of layering, and then we'll put the roof on it at the end. So the other thing that I'm gonna do when I'm sectioning is I go right at the division line, so I split the head in half, and then I section that away as well. I just wanna keep everything nice and clean. Just because we're doing a longer layered haircut, and if you're doing that in the salon, doesn't mean you don't wanna work clean and organized. So I'm gonna go through my elevation. This is gonna be kind of a concave feel to the layering, even though I'm not going really extreme and lifting my elbow, but you can see how it comes off the head shape. It's not 90 degrees, the only part that's around 90 degrees is right at that top crown area, right at the very tip of my finger. Um, but the rest of it is very collapsed, very layered. So the reason I'm doing this, you notice that um, what I wanted to do was put a ton of layering into it and keep that perimeter line. Danielle didn't want to lose a lot of length, so I just wanted to go in and add some life to it, and I'm working pie-shaped sections around the head. What that's gonna do is give me a nice balanced feel to the layering, um, as opposed to pulling everything over, directing it really far and pushing weight. There's no reason really for me at this point to push weight in this long of hair. So I just wanna create that movement, have a nice stack to the layering, and uh, remove some weight from her haircut. 
So you'll notice I don't really do much with the perimeter uh, at this point. Depending on my guest, I will either comb her hair straight down, cut the perimeter first, use that as my guideline, or I'll go in, cut the interior first, then go in and cut the perimeter after, depending on her hair type. If she has a thicker hair type, then I'll go in and cut the perimeter first. If she has a finer uh, fabric of hair, then I'll go in and cut the perimeter second. The reason I do that is because I want to really create a strong base so I can decide once I've cut the layers how much weight I want to leave around the perimeter because when somebody has finer hair, you don't want their hair to look too thin. So again, continuing that uh, same sectioning, the pie shape sectioning around, um, traveling guide, just combing that hair. You'll notice now I'm pushing the hair away from myself. Um, as I worked to the left-hand side, I was pulling the hair to the next section. Now I'm pushing the hair to the next section. So I'm pushing it back to the guide. Um, biggest thing when you're working with a guide is to make sure that you're never combing the guide to the new hair because when you comb the guide to the new hair, you shorten the guide and then you have a completely lopsided haircut. So notice, again, pushing the hair away from my body, but not like too extreme to where I'm uncomfortable and I'm getting inconsistencies, just pushing it right over to the guideline. The other thing you'll notice, I'm kind of doing a slight point cut. Now I'm still creating a line, but when I'm working with uh, longer hair and a medium density, I don't mind doing a little bit of point cutting to create my line just to soften it a bit. There's no reason to have a harsh line all the time in your haircuts. Now I'm switching to a really cool product we have on freesaloneducation.com. It is the Donald Scott Twist. It's a razor that has a 25% cutting side and 100% cutting side. I also put in Donald Scott Prepare, which is a great product product. It has, uh, it's a liquid tool glide. It's got pure coconut and sunflower oil. It helps um, protect the hair when doing razor cutting. Now, what also helps protect the hair is the fact that I have a fresh blade, but I spray that protect, uh, the prepare in the hair. And then all I'm doing is just gliding. Um, it's a condensed cut at this point and just gliding and sliding, creating that face frame in the front of the haircut. That's what's really cool. I think combining different tools. A lot of people stick with the same tool throughout the entire haircut. I think we have different tools for different purposes. And I love this tool for creating a face frame, creating a lot of movement, a lot of layering. Now in the back, I wanted more precise structure. So I use my scissor. In the front, I go through and I use the razor because I want that freedom and I want the texture and movement in the front. So you can see I bring that whole triangle section all the way over to me on the one side and that gives me kind of a kick of a, uh, of a bang that's nice and lightweight. So now we're going to take down the top. This is the roof section of the haircut. This is condensed cutting at its finest. The fact that we created that structured layers in the back, now we're going to create some messy kind of textured layers to fall over those structured layers so you'll see the movement but also have that preci precise hold in the back. So I bring everything forward and I use my 100% cutting side on the Donald Scott twist and I go through and I cut it. You can see I kind of match that up with that front fringe area. And then as soon as I push that hair to the back, I get that texture in the layers. Now we're using the Paul Mitchell Neuro blow dryer. This is version one of that blow dryer. Version two, I just did an unboxing of, so I'm excited to use that on an upcoming video. But we use the blow dryer. I'm using my Ergo paddle brush that's also available on Free Salon Education for purchase. Um, and I go through and I do a flat wrap technique on the very top. You could see the face frames, see everything kind of starting to come to life. Now you'll also see some disconnections in there. Um, that's because we bring everything forward. We cut it with a razor. We're doing a little bit more movement with it, but that all plays into the organic feel of the cut. And obviously once I get it completely styled, then I'm gonna go in and uh, finish off some of those pieces. Now I go in with the uh, Neuro Style Protect from Paul Mitchell. It's also a heat controller. What I love and what a lot of people don't focus on, you gotta use a heat protectant in the blow dry and then use another heat protectant in the iron work so that you're protecting the hair all the way through as opposed to just doing the iron work protectant. So I go through, this is the Neuro Angle iron as well. Um, I'm just wrapping it around. It's a one inch iron. I like that it has a, a rotating handle so I don't have to pop my elbow way up in the air to use it. Um, so I just go through, I wrap that. 
nice and tight in the hair, just consistent vertical sections all the way around the head to create the style. Those layers that we created with the haircut with using the Donald Scott carving comb and the Mizutani scissors, all of that's gonna come to life after we iron it like that. So you can see tons and tons of volume. I love uh, haircuts that have a lot of volume in them and styles. So I go through, I finish it. This is the Neuro Finishing Spray. So it's an all around product line, works really well for everything and just gorgeous uh, cut here. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I love to hear your questions. Also, if you made it this far in the video, I always love hearing that as well. I uh, hope you enjoyed this cut. If you want to see the color, go check out my last video um, on my last vlog and you'll see it. Thank you guys so much for watching. All right, guys, and like always, if you like the video, then make sure you hit the like button. Also, subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscribe button and hit that little bell below that gives you guys alerts anytime I put out a new video. I'm coming out with videos Monday through Friday, so make sure you tune in. Thank you guys so much for the support. Also, don't forget, if you're looking for any of the tools that I use in this video, including Mizutani scissors, YS Park combs, ergo brushes, clips, anything you've seen on this video, you can pretty much buy on freesaloneducation.com. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next video.